Happy first official weekend of summer, and welcome back to this week's episode of Sports Corner. I'm Cole Young, and to start, the NBA topped the headlines this week with major trade announcements. The Washington Wizards finalized a deal to trade all-star guard Bradley Beal to the Phoenix Suns in exchange for Chris Paul, Landry Shamit, a package of future second round picks, and multiple pick swaps. While Paul is a 12-time NBA All-Star, the future Hall of Famer was part of a Phoenix Suns team that two years in a row put on dominant regular season performances, followed by embarrassing playoff losses, so it was time for Phoenix to move on. However, it seems that Washington's already fielding offers to trade Paul, so it seems likely that Washington will not be his final destination. Some team names that have swirled around in the trade rumors are the Lakers and Clippers. Another major three-team trade dropped on Wednesday night when it was announced that the Celtics will send point guard Marcus Smart to Memphis, while the Wizards will receive Grizzlies guard Tyus Jones, and the Celtics will receive Kristaps Porzingis from Washington. Aside from the basketball news, the College World Series is quickly wrapping up. Florida reached the Men's College World Series Finals with a 3-2 victory over TCU on Wednesday, making the Gators the fourth team in history to win their bracket with three straight one-run wins. For the other two teams left, LSU kept its championship hopes alive with an impressive win over Wake Forest on Wednesday. And they took down the Demon Deacons a second time on Thursday to advance the championship round to square off against Florida. Game 1 of the championship round starts tonight at 4 p.m., and then games 2 and 3 will be tomorrow and Monday. It's been a while since I've had the chance to talk about the MLB, so I figured I'd bring you up to speed. Starting with our local Angels and Dodgers, they just wrapped up their two-game head-to-head series on Wednesday, and the Dodgers won both games 2-0, despite strong pitching from the Angels in back-to-back -back days. Currently, the Angels are very surprisingly a top-10 team in the league. As the season approaches the halfway mark, Anaheim is already in position to earn a wildcard spot in the playoffs. But there's a lot of season left, and as we learned last year when the Angels set a franchise record for most consecutive losses, never count your chickens before they hatch. But on the bright side, Shohei Otani leads the league in home runs, RBIs, and as a pitcher is top five in strikeouts and has been dominant all season. On Wednesday night in his first ever start against the Dodgers, he pitched 12 strikeouts. Hopefully the Angels can find a way to keep him on the roster. Unless you're a Dodgers fan who is holding out hope, Otani will be wearing the Dodger blue in the near future. The Dodgers aren't too far behind the Angels in the overall standings and are just hanging within the top 10. First baseman Freddie Freeman is batting over 300 at the moment, Max Muncie is leading the team in home runs, and Clayton Kershaw has an ERA below 3 and over 100 strikeouts, so the Dodgers are still in pretty good shape. Lastly, the San Diego Padres are lingering just below 500 and are towards the bottom of the pack of the league, but it's a very long season. The Angels head to Colorado this weekend, the Dodgers are hosting the Astros, and the Padres wrap up their series with the Nationals tonight and tomorrow. My prediction of all three Southern California teams making the playoffs is still very much alive, so tune in to see how the rest of the season plays out. Staying with local news, the PGA Tournament made its way to Los Angeles this past weekend for the US Open at the LA Country Club. Newcomer Wyndham Clark emerged victorious on the weekend, fighting off legends like Ricky Fowler and Rory McIlroy. Clark captured his first win on the PGA Tour at the Wells Fargo Championship just five weeks ago and had only made the cut in two majors before this weekend. The Denver native will be back this weekend in the Travelers Championship in Cromwell, Connecticut. The tournament kicked off this morning, so be sure to tune in to ESPN all weekend to follow along with your favorite golfers. Also this weekend, the U.S. men's national team will begin its quest for a record-tying 8th Confederation Championship as part of Group A in the 2023 CONCACAF Gold Cup. To start off the group stage, the U.S. will be taking on Jamaica tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m. The U.S. MNT won the inaugural tournament in 1991 before being crowned champions again in 2002, 2005, 2007, 2013, and 2017, and 2021. As I said, winning this year will tie Mexico's record with eight titles. Whether it's golf, baseball, soccer, or anything else, there are more than enough sports to enjoy this weekend. Enjoy the official start to summer, and I'll see you right back here next weekend with more news and updates. I'm Cole Young. Have a great weekend.